Hey guys, how's it going? Lunith here, and welcome back to another episode of my Indivisible Let's Play series on the PlayStation 4. In the last episode we went to Mount Sumeru, where we climbed our way up the mountain to find Lord Ravanavar, who we had a long battle with, and then discovered that he actually had this plan for us to help him release Kala by using Ajna, who has a similar power type to Kala. And Kala is basically some powerful deity who would destroy the world or effectively destroy everything on the world and Carla was actually imprisoned 16 years ago by Ashna's parents um, so Ashna kind of transformed after the fight with Lord Ravanavar and Carla got released and kind of blew us away into this sand place where we are now into this desert and of course the people inside of Carla inside our inner realm kind of had mixed feelings about this because knowing that Ashna has the same sort of evil energy type or energy as Kala kind of just really concerns them and they're really scared and they're not sure. Anyway, here we are now at this desert place and we were basically going to make our way out but I think there was meant to be some pretty hefty desert storms. So let's just go left for now and... Whoa! This wind is intense and you can't see past your hand with all the sand. And I'm going to try and remember what the controls are at the same time. I guess we can't get out this way after all. Okay, it looks like I'm not going to be going this way then. Well? Ginseng was right. The storm won't let us through. I'm sorry. <laughs> Tarani, isn't there some other way out of here? Maybe. But that depends on you. We will need to awaken this power of yours. No! I mean, I'm not sure I want to. I will help you, Luke Sao. We can do it together. Torani, you're so nice. It seems our fates are linked. Good. Okay, we got Torani, the water wielding empath. So, what do we do with her? Attack and down attack, making puddles. Thorani's attack and then down attack leaves small puddles on the battlefield. Activating puddles, we use her puddles by using the up and attack, will activate all puddles on the battlefield. And activated puddles will heal friends and harm enemies that run over them. Okay, so that's kind of cool. We shall put her in our party then. Over Cushy. Okay, let's so, go. What do I do? You must meditate. Focus. Let go. Feel the strength flowing from your core, out through each limb and beyond. Feel your life force flow from your heart and through your veins. From your chest, to your arms, to your fingertips. From your center, to your legs and toes. <sighs> the energy within you is augmented by your experience, by the people you know. The power of the world binds this energy within. I... Concentrate. And let go. Done it. Ah, I can't hold it for long. You'll get better with time. Even if it's for a short while, you can use this power to dash into the wind. Okay, so it looks like we're going to start making more use of her powers. Oh, we just leg it through the wind then, when we uh, transform. <laughs> and smash our way through rocks. <laughs> How high do we jump? Ah, not that high. Whoa, it worked! It's not as scary as I thought! Maybe for you. Scared, huh? That's not... That, that's not what I mean. Now that we're out, I suggest we head to Port Narifa. You should stick with Ajna until then. I suppose we have no choice. 
Right. Once you can get to the port, you can decide whether you'll help Ajna along her journey or leave her to die like common beasts. Uh... Don't worry about it, Zebe. You don't have to stay. I'll get us out of here first. Okay, let's go. Press down and circle or down and square to slide. This might be immediately useful. Oh, it is. Um, but I don't seem to be breaking through that rock. I don't press down. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> She's just lying there. Okay, uh, yeah, I need to turn into the... Hmm. There we go. And he's still in like an other form. It's gonna take a little while to get used to this, I guess. about a fight. We seem to be hitting significantly harder now than we were before. And have significantly more health. I didn't even notice that. I guess you can tell what I'm thinking, huh? I can certainly tell what you're feeling. Maybe it will help to talk about it. I don't know. I just feel weird. Why did I get this power? And I'm basically holding all these people hostage inside my brain. I'm not their chief or leader or anything like that. I'm just someone who happened to absorb them. I just wanted to avenge my dad, and now everything's all strange. You feel shame because of the death of your father. Guilt for your role in breaking Kala's seal, and fear because of your growing power. But all growth is painful, Ajna. What if this growth gets everyone killed? Hmm. If Kala has indeed awakened... Because of me. Because of you, perhaps. But if she has awakened, someone will have to stop her. And far from getting everyone killed, your new strength might be the only thing that can save everyone. Ugh, that's so much pressure! The world won't end if I just... go home, will it? I can't say. We need to learn more about Kala's awakening. Then you can make that choice. How did I get into this situation? Making life or death choices for other people? You may not want to be a leader, but power attracts power, for better or for worse. You can use that power, or you can let it use you. That is your choice, Luxal. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, let's kick that guy. I haven't tried using the uh, R1 attack when I've got like full things. Let's give it a go. Well, that worked. So it seems like everyone has become significantly more powerful since I transformed. Uh, that did not go as to plan. That didn't go to plan either. Okay, let's just jump up and then jump off this. And then fail to jump, because I am bad. There we go. So it looks like whenever I dash, she just eventually transforms, which is pretty cool. And if I hit something in transform mode, that seems to wreck them. Okay, 
These fights are getting very easy right now. Uh, that's an orange thing. Can I shoot that? No. Nope. Don't know how I get to the orange dot yet. That just smashed, don't I? And it just blew me across. Oh, I can like scare the wall like that because of the wind. There's another wind thing. Let's try and get up here. Nope. Nope. Wait. Why am I struggling to get through the gap? Feels like I should definitely be able to get up there, doesn't it? Okay. Okay, well, let's just leave that. Uh, hold on, how am I going to get up there then? Oh, I do need the wind. How am I expected to get through? Do I have to go up and around or something? Oh, there's a ring cell there, I'll go get that anyway. how I'm meant to even get up there. Okay, I'm going to go down here again. I definitely can't jump through this gap, can I? Doesn't appear to be possible to get through the gap. There's no secret tunnel or anything. Because it feels like I need that wind to climb this wall. Otherwise, yeah, I'm just going to go down like that. Let's go back a bit. Let's backtrack. See if I missed anything. Because there's a wall way over there, but there's no way I can get over to that, is there? No, it feels like this is the only way I can go. And it feels like the only way I could go is up there somehow, but... Can I shoot that with an arrow? Oh, I can shoot it with an arrow. Whoops. Well, now I know. Hey, there's someone over there. They don't look so good. Water. Here, child. Let me offer you some water from my hair. Gross. Gross. <laughs> thank, thank you so much. I thought I was going to die out here. My throat feels so much better. My hair sustains life. It is far more nourishing than regular water. So gross. Shush, Razmi. What are you doing out in the middle of the desert anyway? I am called Kadira. I was following the Imperialist army of the Iron Kingdom, but I lost them in the sandstorm. Iron Kingdom, huh? They have been a scourge upon my people. Their armies have been taking more and more territory under the guise of protection. My brother was fighting to defend our land, but went missing some months ago. One of our warriors returned with his sword and cape, which I carry now. So you're gonna beat these guys up with your brother's sword? I will not use it until I can return it to him. I can defeat them using my shield alone. Whoa, that's so cool. Where'd you learn to fight with a shield? My grandmother taught me over many years using a basket as practice. Women among my people aren't allowed to fight, but she trained me in secret since I was a child. Wow, just like me. Kinda. When his sword was returned to us, I hid my face behind this wrap to avoid detection and left the village. I fear he is dead, but I must find out the truth. I was tracking a troop of Iron Kingdom soldiers when the sandstorm hit. I believe they entered the temple, but 
As you can see, I didn't quite make it that far. Right. We'll help you. Weren't we heading straight for Marifa? But... More dead weight. Dar! This is the first thing you want to say since Sumeru? Come now. We've gotten into enough trouble already. You rush in to help anyone you see. And you only speak up to add something negative. She wants to avenge her brother. I can relate to that, if you get my meaning. Anyway, children, the only way to Marifa is through the temple, so we may as well let her accompany us. There's strength in numbers. I would welcome her. I want to see under your mask. Is your face all weird? Do you have no lips? Let me see. My, my lips are perfectly standard, I'll have you know. I'll believe it when I see it. Let's just take a quick peek. No! Fine, fine. Well, come along anyway. Ajna's gonna absorb you no matter what anybody says. Welcome, no lips. I have lips. Please stop talking about them. Anyway, we must be wary. People say the temple was suddenly abandoned. Oh, that would explain these markings. It looks like sandworms. Ooh, sandworms. Ajna, can I keep one? Just one little thing for old Rosmi. Well, if we have to go through here anyway, no big deal, right? Nice. Yeah, time to find out what a sandworm is. Uh-oh. I stand ready. Okay, looks like Kadir has joined us. The undercover soldier. All attacks, follow-up attacks. All of Kadir's attacks have a follow-up. Tap attack again to use them. Uh, might as well use Kadira over Zebe. And let's go. Oh, falling down the hole. Whoa, this place is huge. But how do we get out? I've doomed us. Nah, we've been in doomier situations than this. We'll find a way. Okay, I'm gonna go left first. That looks like a wall. Let's go right then. Ah, monster. Okay, let's just block that. Oh, he attacked again. Uh, okay. And then you type of attack. You avoided it. Get a press all buttons, any hit should kill it. Think. I am going to swap. Could do it out. I quite liked Zebe in the group actually, so. Okay, that's a wall. We're gonna have to get up here. And up here. Ah, uh, I failed to jump. Do I get another chance to do that? Or can I get it from this side maybe? Let's drop some puddles everywhere. Try harder. Oh, he's blocking everything. Special delivery. Oh, that's a grab attack, isn't it? Okay, is there actually any way I'm going to be able to get that ring? So can I, if I charge at full speed, I don't get far enough. Can I jump up? 
No. Hmm. That's a shame. I'll leave that for now then. Okay, looks like I can go to the right, and looks like I can also go up here. Which might actually give me a way to get to that ring cell. Oops. Oh, there we go. So now if I go charge and jump, there we go, I've got the ring cell. Very nice. Now I can go up here. And we'll go down here. Ooh, new enemies. Easy. So these monsters are nice and simple to fight. Okay, what on earth is that? What happens if I charge at it? Dash it? Nope. Shoot it with a bow? Nothing. Okay, I've got two ways I can go. I can either go left and down there. Oh yeah. Is that something I can go through here at all? No. I'll go down this side. Looks like we're going really far down. So it's using all three of the R things does insane damage. Okay. Oh, that was a uh, hug attack. Okay, I'm guessing this is probably where I would have come down had I come down that other side. Oh, there's something here though. Let me just hold on to this until the thing spawns. And I missed. Okay, so that just goes, okay, yeah, I can see that other thing to the right, so I should just come down here. Oh, I think so. Nice. I've now got five. Does that mean I can learn a defensive ability? I can't remember. Let's go talk to this one. You have five ring cells. Would you like to enhance your defensive capabilities? Yes, please. Yeah, got to get tough. Then let's begin. With each infusion, the damage you take while blocking will decrease and the idiot you generate will increase. I can enhance your defensive capabilities again when you have 10 more ring cells. I think I needed 20 for this one, didn't I? Yeah, I can increase your strength once you have 20 ring cells. Nice, so we've got more defense then. So as long as I block and do good, should be fine. Let's leave the inner realm. Make a way down here. Okay. That's in the way again, so I'm going to have to go to the left. Right, looks like I open up this door and the door that was up as well, but it doesn't matter probably which one I go through. Oh, new monsters. I made him attack so he went out of position and then got him to do his thing. That was really bad. Okay, so I'm going to wait to have a few more attacks ready. Actually, let's do it now. Oh, there he is. 
These guys are kind of annoying because they're like very spread. Very mean to her. Okay, so I think we're going to now have to go back up to the other door that opened was up here. Oops, let's do that. And then through here. Ouch. A sutra of pain. At the end. Just gonna fully charge up Dar for a big attack, I guess. Need to work out how to change target. Kind of wasting attacks, hitting just a single one. Okay, Dar's gonna just wreck these guys. Let's go. No, he's gonna wreck one guy. of a sandworm it's that big i thought you know worms animals in the Almuta desert region can grow to incredible size there have been countless studies of their mutations i can get you the research if you're interested it's really quite fascinating um maybe later for now let's just get rid of it a quick jab should get it out of the way a shot from my bow then no, Zebe. I'll do it. As you like, but don't expect this to win me over. Okay. So I guess we need to get up here and whack it. Easy. Oh, its tail is now here. Wait, can I get through that gap? Shoot it like that. Ah, oh, he's blocking. Oh, I still do seven thousand damage when he's blocking. Okay. Okay, let's not do all my attacks when he's blocking. Yeah, I need to wait for Ashna to have. There we go. Her attacks. Oh, I'm getting hugged again. Oops. Why is that not breaking his defense? Oh, now she's getting hugged. I'm bad at stopping myself from getting hugged. There we go. I messed up the attack uh, when I tried to put the defense the last time. Ok, 
Okay, they're almost down. Okay, they're blocking. I'll block him. Okay, I have to use another combo to get him. Oh, I tried to block the hug. Didn't work. I need to work at the timing now, but at least I pressed the right button for once. Oh, that's the wrong timing. thing up there I need to wait do I need to shoot up there to break that and then shoot again maybe the arrow will get blown oops if I shoot up correctly yep the arrow got blown oh let's not fall into spiky traps Okay, nice, the wind's just going to carry me all the way. Okay, I guess I've got to go down, and down, and down. Oh. Okay, I just got absolutely wall up there. Put puddles like way back. Good. Oh, that's the wrong button. There we go. Pop that. Okay, let's see if I get rid of this first one because. Yeah, I should die. There we go. Okay, if I were to block that completely, break his defense, charge up Dar. Okay, I'm going to attack twice with Dar. Or even three times. Oh, no. Still not managed to work out what to do with that yet. I made the timing it way too early or way too late. Okay. Let's just full dash. Oops. Wait. Jump. Nope, 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 nope. Bad form, bad form. Let's go jump, axe, and up. Into the wind. Okay, let's shoot that. Oh, no, let's actually shoot the other one as well. Oh, okay, the wind's going to blow it. So jump up, use the wind, do the shot. There we go. Chop the tail. Can I? I can't. I can't get through that gap. I need to shoot through the gap. And I think if I shoot again, it should carry the arrow to... Nope. There. There we go. Oh. I need to do more arrows. One for the tail. One for that one. I'm going to guess another one. Oh, too high. Okay, it didn't hit the other thing, but it might be fine. Slide under that. Oh, yeah, I can just shoot up. Shoot up and left, I guess. Shoot up and way left. No, that's not working. Hmm. Okay, I'll go over here and I'll shoot over here then. There we go. Wait, did that do anything or did that just... Why did my camera angle change?
So now I need to go... Not there. Do I need to go... Okay, I'm going to have to go back, I think. Back over here. And fire the shot. Not there. Not there. There. There we go. Got it. Those guys. Gotta wait till I'm fully charged again. Nice then hopefully I can take out the big guy. Nope, didn't time it right then either. Okay, I'm going to have to play that guy's defense then. Oh, he's a fast attacker. Oh, there's a ring cell there. So if I dash left and then jump, get that. Oh, I'm gonna hit that spike. Yep. Nope, that's not good. That's not good. So there, 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 and up. Okay. I want to let that wind carry me. Maybe. I think I got to jump off the wall and yeah, the wind will give me extra momentum. Just gonna wait till they get back in position and then shoot them. And then double just take them all down. Easy win. Just how long is this thing? Judging by its diameter, I'd say it's quite long. Okay. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be going this way. Considering I shouldn't probably be able to walk through that door. I guess I need to go up. Probably go ooh, up to where I originally found the um, tail, which was just up here, I think. Yeah, this looks good. Oh, should probably downward dash. Do a super long slide. Oh, uh, there's something to the right there. There's probably going to be a ring, so probably want to get to it. Uh, can I? I can't transform over that distance. Hmm. Why? If I dash from here, no, that doesn't do it. Maybe if I get to the very edge and I dash. No, I don't have long enough to like, run up to transform. I shan't worry about that for now then. Let's go to the left. Oh, let's try and go up there. Oh, I know how I get to that other bit now. I 
can't get back to it. I was obviously meant to sprint and then, yeah, okay. And then go down without messing up like that. Nope, I messed it up again, press the wrong button. There we go. Get up here. See the tail. Oh, the wind's carrying me up. That makes things easier. And we're out, are we? Yeah. Hmm. Very big worm, isn't it? I do like when the wind just carries me all the way. Okay, there's still no way to get over there. What just happened? It sounded different that time. I think it's retreating to its lair. That may be our ticket out of here. Just gonna keep running. Oh, I made it over the jump this time, but that seems irrelevant. Do I have to go back down again? Die. Ah, okay. Boss fight. Ouch. Probably try and get the puddles down first if uh, the puddles are meant to heal me or whatever. Ouch! Ouch, ouch, ouch. Big ouch again. I'm gonna get to use stars. R1 attack, fully loaded. Block all the attacks. Block again. Try and break his defense. And get a ton of puddles down. I think with those puddles down, I should probably blow them up next time now by doing an up and attack. I'm just going to wait for the... Okay. Go. Oh. I really need to get back to him ASAP. There we go. Okay, I'm going to do some other attack combos. 
try and get my R1 built up a bit more again after this, I could probably finish this guy off. Kill him? Yeah. Never kill. Kill. Me. And there's our way out. Oh, we can't keep it. Razmi, why do you like Sandworm so much? You remind me of my youth. Huh. <sighs> Hadira, what's wrong? I just hope my brother is okay. Thanks to you and your friends, I'm finally going to face the Iron Kingdom. Oh, well, I kind of know how you feel. My dad just died. Dar killed him. Dar did? How could you? It was... I was under orders. <laughs> a fine excuse. Ravanovar raised me since I was a child. I didn't... I, I didn't know. Frankly, I don't know how you can all stand each other. Break it up, children. I'll not have you fighting until we reach the port. <laughs> Hadira, don't worry. We'll figure this out together. Okay, let's go. Now we have our way out. Looks like we made it to the port. Here it is, Port Marifa, the gateway to the world. Huh, for a gateway, I thought it would be bigger. We can get ships here, that's the main thing. Right, about that. What does everyone want to do? I dragged you into all this, and none of you owe me a thing. It's okay, Zebe. I appreciate everyone's help, but we're through the sandstorm now. None of you have to stay. But I need to figure out what this Kala thing means. Find out about my own power. I... I don't even know all the stuff I need to figure out. Ajna, you are the grossest, most disgusting person I've ever met in my life. Everything around you turns into a disaster. I... I guess you're right. So, obviously, I'm coming with you. Bomb is too. He has to come because he's mostly dead. Aren't you, you little idiot? Oh, thanks, Razmi. Right? Am I thanking you after that? Whatever floats your boat, buddy. You saved me in the desert. You said you'd help me find out what happened to my brother. I'm coming. Heh. <laughs> but you leave me alone, Razmi. Ginseng? Well, this is a lot more dangerous than I expected, but you can't become a world-famous botanist without some risk. So, I'm coming! As am I. You still haven't fully recovered, and you need a guide as your power grows. And someone to buy you cute dresses and do your hair. What's wrong with my hair? Oh, absolutely nothing! Just for fun. Didn't your mother ever fix your hair? I didn't really know my mother. No. Well, an Almushan braid would look lovely for starters. <laughs> well, thanks everyone. I really appreciate your help. Oh, but Zebe? Right. I want no further part in destroying the world, thanks. 
I've done enough to help the charade. I'm with you only until we find a boat. Well, where a protector goes, so too must I. I understand. I'll make sure everyone who wants to stay finds a boat. How's that? Fine by me. Wait, may I speak? Better make it good. This is the big who stays and who goes conversation. And I'd prefer that you go. I know. I know most of you don't like me. And you have good reason. I did kill Ajna's father. I thought I was doing it for the good of the world, but Ravanovar had blinded me. He raised me since I was a boy, and he spoke so lovingly of the new world he would create. I had no idea he meant to destroy it first. And I had no idea the deeds, acts we committed were done in the name of destruction. How did you not know killing innocent people was wrong? I was told they were blasphemers against the gods. But in truth, I have no excuse but you. And yet you are younger than I and committed no such atrocities. Ravanovar told me the heretics we dispatched would be reincarnated in paradise and live a better life, but I had never stayed behind after a battle. I'd never had to see the consequences until now. Apologizing isn't enough. I took someone precious to you, and I can never bring him back. Please, Ajna, let me offer my services to you as penance. You don't have to like me. I don't. But let me be your sword. I have no purpose. I have nowhere to belong. Please, I don't want to become some mercenary for hire. I know I'm asking even more of you, but I want to try to do something good. Let me help you save this world from destruction. Well... Don't do it. He's the worst. Yeah, he is. But maybe he deserves a chance. For what it's worth, he is being sincere. I'm... I'm gonna consider it. But listen, Dar. From now on, you're listening to me. And if we find someone who needs help, we're helping them. No discussion. I am yours to command. I will not complain. And... Thank you. This conversation felt weird. Yeah. Whatever. Let's get going. And thanks again, everybody. Okay, I think I am going to head back out the way I just came in. Because there was a safe place. And I'm going to save it up. Because it feels like a good place to stop for now. So let's save the game. And I will save over the level 3 socks. I don't need that. Just want to double check that definitely saved. Yes, it did. Perfect. Okay, so that's it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please do comment, like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. So, see ya.